That's a good boy. I almost called you a girl again. That's a good boy. Oh, very strong. Oh. Out. Good. Yes. Good boy, Maggie. Oh. That's a good boy, Patty. Oh, that's a good boy. That's a good out. Good. Good out, Patty. All right, Patty. Place. Place. Yeah. Good boy, Patty. Good boy. Oh. Oh. Good boy. Oh. Oh. Out. Good. Good boy. So see the short little leash on there? It's like a foot long. I put that on there. We're working on the out. And so what I'll do is I'll give Patty the out command, out, and then just a little pressure. But the pressure has to come after the command. This way the dog truly learns the verbal command. And what happens is once you get enough repetitions, they'll anticipate the pressure and they'll avoid it, even though I'm barely putting any pressure. So a lot of trainers send me videos to look, hey, see what I could do to make better. One of the most common things especially people that are still using food rewards. They're working the dog and the hand is going in the treat bag or it's already in the treat bag long before the marker, the reward marker is coming. And so what's happening is the dog's not learning the commands of the reward marker, okay? Because they're going to pick up the visual cue first, always. So a lot of people, for example, if you have a treat pouch, they're working the dog and they'll say, sit, and the dog sits and the hand goes in the pouch and then they say yes and they mark. The dog's not learning the yes. The dog's learning the hand going in the pouch because it's coming first. Or they'll say sit and the hand's already in the pouch. Yes, and then they're rewarding. Again, the dog's having a hard time really learning the verbal commands, okay? Or if you're using hand signals, it's sit, down, over. Again, when you're using the hand signals at the same time, the dog's not learning the, the verbal cue. So you want to provide the verbal cue first and then the physical cue. This way the dog learns both, okay? So with Patty, real intense border collie, we could play fetch all day long, right? And so that ability to get in the border collie crouch and chase a toy is very strong. I don't want to ruin that, okay? If you fight mother nature, she'll kick your ass every time. I want to make that better. And the way I'm gonna make that better is to teach Patty to come to me and get the bite. So we could work like a spring, like imagine a pinball, right? You have the pinball machine there and you just pop the thing, the ball goes. If you pull it back, boom, it takes off. Same thing, that's what I'm attempting to do with Patty. So I'm just teaching him to use the tug and to come forward a little bit. This is new to him. Get ready? All right, Patty. Down, and then the hand signal. Yes, good and then the toy moves away, okay? But there are times I will present the toy and send it to him a little bit to teach him that I want him to bite it. Place. Good. Good, so for example, normally with a biting dog, a working dog, a sport dog, a protection dog, I don't give the toy, hey, place, to the dog. In this case, I will sometimes. So Patty, place. So you see now he's getting impatient for the bite for the toy, so I'm gonna make him wait a little bit. Yes! Ah! Good boy! Ah! Good! Ah! Patty out. Good. Good. Patty down. See the hand signal comes after the command. Now I'll give the verbal marker and then I'll move the toy. Yes! Ah, good. Good boy, Patty. Oh. Oh. So the timing is really important. And that's where a lot of people are getting it wrong. No, don't let go. Don't let go. Come on. Oh, there you go. Good. Good. Out. 
Yes. So you see now, out, no pressure, and the dog releases immediately. So now he's learning me out very well. And this is just fun. This is play. We're training, but he doesn't know we're training. Oh, now he brings it back, right? Oh. Right back to play again. And that's what we want. So he's learning a lot. And now I'll give him the O-U-T command. If he doesn't, I'll reach down for the leash and give him a little pressure. Oh, good. Patty, out. Yeah. See, so just the act of moving, barely doing anything, he gets to learn it. Good boy, Patty. All right, come on. A good boy. Oh, come on, come on, come on. oh, there you go. There you go. Okay. All right. Patty, out. Good boy. All right, Patty. Over here, place. Good. Patty, over here, place. Yes. Good boy. Oh. Oh. That's a good boy, Patty. Oh, oh man, you're too strong for me, Patty. Oh. Oh. And he's learning to regrip and bite in the middle on his own, which is very nice. Oh. Oh. Now, let's give him what he really loves too, to chase it. Patty, out. Good boy. No conflict, no yelling, no yanking. Calm. Patty down, then the hand signal comes. Yes, then the reward goes. That's the timing. That's what allows the dog to comprehend the verbal command while learning the verbal and the, the physical. This is our third session today already. I think it's not even 9 a.m. yet. I have to beat the heat because it's been so hot. So see how I presented the toy to him that time? With my Malinois or the Rottweilers or the Shepherds, the protection dogs, never do that. I always want the dog coming for the bite. With him, it's a little different. I'm teaching him different things. Oh, good. Good, Patty. Good. Good boy. Good. All right. Okay, Patty, out. Good. Yes. Yeah. Good boy, Patty. Over here. Play. Right here. <laughs> Get up there. Uh, out. Come here. Come here. Come here. Good boy. Place. Up there. Good. Over here. Place. Place. Good. Over. Place. Ah, uh, all the way. Get up there. Good. Over. Place. Get up there. Up there. Come here. Ah, there you go. This is just fun, guys. But I want to do my best to make the communication clear. And that's why videos are so important. Because I'll be able to go watch this and I'll pick up several things that I could have done better. Mistakes that I made that confused the dog. So I have to do my best to make it clear and not confuse the dog. The dog doesn't make mistakes. I do. Good boy, Patty. Out. Good, see, now there's out there without any pressure. He's learning the out, very nice. Patty down, then the hand signal. Patty come, sit, then the hand signal. Patty place. Uh-uh. Yes! Good boy, good boy, Patty. Whew, it's hot, brother, it's hot. Oh. 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 Okay, Patty, out. Very good out. Yes. I'm going to give it to him right away. That was a very nice out immediately. So when he got here, he wouldn't out. Good boy, Patty. And the out was taught all through play. Oh, he's going in the shade? He's going in the shade. He's like done. 
One more time, we'll end it. Come on, Patty, let's go. One last time. Oh, I'm a border collie, ready? Ready? Uh -uh. Good. Good. That's what I want you to do. Learn how to control it and wait for the verbal marker. Good. Uh -uh. Good, Pat. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Good boy. But oh, no, don't get weak on me now. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Come on. Ah, there you go. There you go. One last time. Patty, out. Yes perfect out so what I'm working on here is not the dog so much it's my timing of presenting everything to the dog in a really awesome game that he loves which is going to accelerate his learning but you guys have to remember the command you can say his name if you want patty and then the command and then the hand signal and when you mark it yes and then you reach for the treat or you present the toy. But you gotta break down the timing, guys, because as humans, we wanna do everything at the same time. That's what we do. For the dog, it's just a blurry picture, okay? When we're doing everything at the same time, it's a blurry picture. Think to yourself, slow it down, break it down. Patty, sit, then the hand say no. Yes, then reach for the food or the toy. You gotta break down the timing. I think that's it, buddy. I think that's it, Patty. Come here, boy. Come here, buddy. Come here. I can't play no more, I'm too hot. Come here. Come here, bring it here. All right, come here, one more time. Can't you just love me for me without playing? Love me for me, buddy. Love me for me. One more throw, okay? Down. Yes! It went over there. <laughs> so I hope this helps a little bit, folks. It's hotter than balls out here. I'm disgusting. Peace.